people, right, we've got something to review for you. We've got two things to review for you today from a company called Jackery. It is a new um, solar generator stroke power station bank kind of thing. This is called the Explorer 500 UK. Um, they also do, I believe, an uh, Explorer 240 and an Explorer 1000, so that will be the wattage. So 2000, uh, 240 watt, 1000 watt, this is uh, mid-range 500 watt. Okay, so we're going to be doing a review on that. And the solar panel to come with it. So we can uh, charge this up with solar uh, all in one go. So very, very excited about this. What I'm going to do to start with is get it out of the box and show you what it comes with because I'm telling you this is the most beautiful one we have ever seen. Now we are very limited for space today, we've got to do this from inside the motorhome. There's roadworks outside so hopefully that won't be too noisy for us. Let's just get into this and get it out and you're going to see how beautiful it is. So here it is, isn't it beautiful? Look at that! You know, we've reviewed quite a few of these kind of products in the past, but this is the best looking we've had. And weight wise, it is brilliant. It weighs 6.4 kilograms or 14.1 pounds approximately. Now, with <laughs> this is probably the first one which I can honestly say I could put this in a backpack and take this with me deep into the woods or whatever to use, or just carry it like that. Maybe it'd knock against your leg a bit, I don't know, but certainly in a backpack I would carry that around, no problem whatsoever. You know, I've done big walks where I was carrying 20 kilograms, so 6.4, no problem at all. It's beautiful, so you get that inside, you get the instructions, which I'll tell you something, I'll go into them in a bit, but it's one, two, three, four, it's literally six pages in English, seven, eight pages in English, and I think only... Maybe two or three of them are actual instructions. It's that easy to use. It also comes with 12 volt car charger, or van charger, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so you would stick that end in there, in the input, and that into your car. Cigarette lighter, um, and your mains charger. Again, same end, same place. So that's your chargers, which both come in a very nice, handy little pushy pack, a little bag. So that's really cool. And you get your warranty, which it says here, if you register now, you get an extra 12 months warranty. So you get 24 months, two years warranty. So that's everything in the pack. Let's now start looking at the product. Get them out of the way. Right, what have we got here? You have got... There isn't an actual on off button, believe it or not. You've got a display button, all right? I have fully charged this up, so it was at 100% about, I don't know, six days ago. I thought it would have depleted in, in its energy. Don't know if you can see that, but it's actually on 100% still. So it's not gone down a single percent, which is brilliant. Can you see that? It's got five black blocks on there to show you each 20% as it goes down. But you've also got the actual 100% so you can see to the very percent how low your battery is. So that's very good. You've got your AC plug socket there. And a button there. So obviously you press that, stick your plug in and that will generate your energy. You've got USB points. Now you've got three of them. The only thing I would say about that is none of them are the new type C. A lot of mobile phones now, including my own, is a type C, which wouldn't fit in there, so I would need the different to get a different lead to charge my phone in there. Um, but apart, you know, I'm not gonna knock it too much. It's a new thing is this type C uh, socket, and everyone's gonna be moving over to them in time, I'm sure. Um, but there is a way around that on the uh, solar panel itself which I'll go into at the end of the video. Then you've got your DC so you can have a 12 volt output as well. I am not sure what you would stick in them I'll be completely honest um, but you'd get 12 volt power by sticking something similar to that in there. Yeah that doesn't fit but something similar to that. 
And that is it. That is all there is to it. Apart from this really, really handy little thing on the end. I love this. Absolutely love it. Let me push you back a little bit. Um, it's a little LED light. Press it. You've got a nice torch. Are you in trouble? Are you stuck in the middle of the woods? Do you need some help? Keep your finger pressed on it. Morse code. SOS. How cool is that? So it's very nice to know that, uh, you know, if you're in trouble it's going to help you out. So you don't have to worry about forgetting to turn it off. I believe this will just turn off the display after a few seconds and then it's uh, saving its power again. So absolutely brilliant. We're going to test a few things in it now. Um, but before we do, let's just have a quick look at the instructions. I don't normally do instructions, but come on, let's have a quick look. So here's the instruction manual. It is so simple, it's ridiculous. It really is. Um, nothing on page one. Page two, there's your details if you want to have a good read of them. Um, tells you the weight there. That gives you the dimensions if you want to know exactly how big it is. It is a lithium ion battery. It has 500 life cycles so you can charge this up 500 times without uh, any problems with the battery. Operating temperature minus 10 degrees to 40 degrees Celsius so that's fine certainly in the UK you're not going to go any further from them temperatures or very very rarely. The only thing I would say, recharging temperature, 0 to 40 degrees Celsius, you know, so if it's a cold winter and you're below zero, uh, it's not going to charge. This should charge anything up to 500 watts. Um, if it doesn't, if you put anything in which is more than 500 watts, it'll just shut off. You won't damage it, it'll just shut off. When you do first turn this LCD on, it will flicker 10 times when the battery capacity drains to 20 to 10%. So if you haven't been looking at it, it'll, you know, it'll give you a good reminder. So you're pressing it on there and it would flash 10 times. So you'd know when it's getting low, even if you'd not been reading it. So here's how long it takes to recharge. So if you was to use the wall plug in a house, for example, it'll take about seven hours. I can confirm that because I did 50% in three hours, 28 minutes. So it would take, what, six hours, 56 minutes. Um, so it's very accurate, is that? So I'm guessing these are gonna be accurate as well. Uh, eight hours on your car charger, seven hours using a, another electric generator. Why you'd want to transfer from one generator to another, I don't know. Um, and from your solar panel, obviously depending on weather, around 14 hours couple of tiny bits, not allowed on aircrafts, and, and uh, what did I read? Not waterproof. I'd say they're the two main things you need to know about that. That is the end of the instructions. Then it goes into different languages, apart from this shows you what it will charge and for how long, which is cool. So, you can recharge a drone about 10 times, a car fridge for 40, 38 hours, uh, a 12 inch MacBook around 36 hours, a television 8 hours, smartphone 53 recharges of your phone, how cool is that? And 95 recharges of a camera, that is brilliant, we're going to put it to the test, we need to test it, we need to make sure this thing's going to work. So let's start with something very simple, my mobile phone. So this is what I was talking about, that's one end of my lead and it's got a type C end which won't go into any of them. Um, but not a problem, you know, you can get different things for it. So I'll put it into the plug and we're going to put it in here. Now, this is what I like, I'll just turn that AC button off, plug it in there, press the AC button and listen. You get a tiny little whir. Now, I don't know why you get that, but that's handy. That lets you know, you know, that it's plugged in. Sometimes then you're having to stare at the screen just to make sure it's charging. That is charging. And there is the output, 25, 26 watts. It keeps changing. So we know exactly how many watts that's using, and it's working perfectly. 
brilliant you can also use one of these at the same time so you could plug in a USB as well and have that charging as well no problem at all okay so that will recharge about 53 times brilliant now I am learning as I'm going along you know so I don't know everything about this machine I have just plugged this in now this is the first fault I found with it for me this is my uh, the plug for my laptop but it won't fit <laughs> it won't fit without you know you, you can have that propped up it's not a problem at all but it would have been nice if the plug was a bit higher and that would have gone level you know what I mean so you could have kept it level but that's in now when I press AC this time the whirring it comes back on give it a second it's now up to 30 watts of output 45 watts of output 54 watts of output it is now whirring constantly 58 watts so I'm guessing at about 50 watts it starts to whir in the background but it's very very quiet it's not a problem at all and it is charging the laptop perfectly well very very happy with that what I will say by the way whilst I'm on this page I will be putting links to this to the Amazon links where you can buy this and the solar panel the Solar Saga 100. I'll put links in the description to these. I'll explain that a bit later and I'll also put links to the websites um, in English and German. There's a website for German as, as well. Just to confirm, I'm using exactly that. So, around 36 hours it will charge for. I would have liked to know how many times that will charge it. You know, like it says for the smartphone 53 recharges I'd like to know how many recharges that is for for this but never mind it is charging I did just want to confirm that I will charge something on AC and one of the others as well so I'm going to charge something on USB I found an old phone so I'll put that on charge and it is charging the outputs just gone up a couple of watts up to 63 now oh, it's moving it's moving um, but yes it will charge various different things at the same time which is brilliant so I'm not going to be reviewing it with all different kinds of appliances you get the idea as long as it's less than 500 watts this thing is going to power it it works it's brilliant you do get a lot of people who don't like Chinese products so I don't know why but they don't um, this is not Chinese I just want to get that out there. This is made in America. It's from California, near San, Fran San Francisco Bay, just below the Tesla factory. They've even put a little map on the back there to show you where it comes from. So you're getting an American product. They are already big in America. I believe they're also big in China. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, they are just launching in the UK today, in Europe today. So, they're doing a special offer for you all. Are you ready for this? You're going to like this. The normal price of this beauty is £529.99. pence. But they are having the Jackery New Milestone Sale in Europe as of today until the end of this month, the end of March, 20% uh, off all Jackery products. So, all you have to do to get that is put in the code when you're buying it off Amazon links in the description put in the code jackery2021 jackery2021 and you'll get 20% off which takes this beauty down to £423.99 that's a bargain that really is a bargain now as I say I can't review this by going for walks and things we are in lockdown uh, there's a lot going on outside at the moment with roadworks and things so I'm having to do it in the van but this we are going to be using this we've got quite a few of these now right up to 2400 watts from various companies different sizes but this is his favorite this is the one when we go out and we're sat outside on his campsites and things this can just sit next to us charge his phones charge his laptops have a little fan going whatever we want um, and even Mazzy can lift that as I said 6.4 kilograms is not too heavy so that is the power bank 
Yes, you can charge it through your car. Yes, you can charge it in your house, but wouldn't it be perfect if you could just charge it through solar, wherever you are, anytime. Apart from night, of course. Um, we're going to move on to this beauty now. This is the Jackery Solar Saga 100, a 100 watt output solar panel. I don't know how I'm going to do this in this small van, <laughs> but we'll give it a go. I will do this the best I possibly can, but in this short space, um, it's not going to be easy. Okay, so this is the product. Now, the first thing I will say, it's quite big, uh, heavy wise, I mean. Um, I don't know the exact weight, it doesn't say in the instructions, or I can't see them at this time, but it is quite heavy, but you know, it's not too heavy to carry. But uh, just, you know, if you've got a motorhome or something, just think how much uh, weight it's going to add to your motorhome. Um, I love the way this folds out. It is on magnets. It just opens with magnets. It's absolutely brilliant. And that is what is inside. So, you open it out. On the back here, it's very hard to do in this space, but you've got these which have got little uh, elastic things underneath. So you open it out, you open that one, you've got another one at this side, and then you just obviously point it in the direction of the sun. Now what I really like about this is everything you need is in this little pouch, which I think, they've put like a waterproofish kind of barrier on there which is very handy. Now what I like about this is this is actually stuck in here so you've no leads on the floor, you're not going to lose your leads it is there and all you'd have to do is plug that into your Jackery power station which we're going to do in a minute and it will start charging. Um, but the other beauty about this, what I really like on top of here it has got a USB and the type C, you know, my mobile phone, the new type. So I can actually plug my mobile phone straight into this and it will charge my mobile phone. It actually says up here, um, you can plug it into your Explorer, a mobile phone, a tablet, or a game player, for example. So it's all there and it just folds up beautifully inside there. Very impressed. Excellent quality. Absolutely top of the range quality. One thing I will say about solar panels in general, a lot of people say, oh you can't use solar, not in England, it only rains in the UK, you're not going to be able to charge anything in the UK. Nowadays you can, even if it's cloudy outside, you are still going to get a trickle of power coming into it. So don't be put off from solar. Now we're going to try this, if I can somehow Where's the actual, it's that small, I couldn't find it, the actual power station. Look how small it is compared to the solar panel. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unzip this at the back and get that lead out, attach it into it and see if it starts charging. Because I have noticed by doing my phone and my laptop it has gone down 1%. So, it should start charging. All we have to do, plug it in there, it's on blue lights come on that is actually charging now I'm indoors obviously so I'm not going to be get, getting any power at the moment but you could put this this would fit nicely on your windscreen it obviously depends where the Sun is you could lay it on top of your roof of your van or your car or whatever um, or if you're having a picnic just leave it set up brilliant absolutely brilliant and it is you know if you wanted to go away it is no problem whatsoever to carry them. One person carries the picnic, the other carries them. No problem whatsoever, it's not that heavy. Now I just wanted to test something. I wanted to see if the USB-C Type-C would work and power up my phone. I've plugged it in, it's not powering it up. Literally, get a little bit of sunlight, it's charging. It's charging now, my phone is charging. How cool is that? How cool, I'm, I'm absolutely amazed. Wow. I'll tell you something. 
I know this sounds ridiculous, but you could actually just buy this on its own and just carry it around with you to charge your phone up. How cool is this? Brilliant. Absolutely love it. So the Solar Saga 100 comes with these instructions. It comes with the same warranty what's inside with the uh, Jackery power station. Uh, so you get two years warranty on that as well, which I'm presuming it's on all Jackery products at the moment. And then the instructions in English is literally two pages. Uh, half of that's just uh, <laughs> things you don't need to know. Contact details, warranty, etc. The only thing I would say you need to know from that is someone asks the question, how do you clean the surface? Uh, a damp cloth, simple as that. And are they waterproof? Are the foldable solar modules waterproof? It doesn't say they are or they aren't. It just says to maximise the lifespan, it should not get wet. But you're not going to want to put it out when it's wet, really, are you? If it's raining, it's not going to be giving you much power. But two amazing products. Um, I'll give you a price on that one. Original price, £259.99. Put in the... The code which we mentioned earlier, what was it again? Uh, Jackery 2021, and you get 20% off, which will take that to £207.99 pence until the end of March. So get these ordered, people. Um, so in total, what is that? Four, five, six, six hundred and thirty-two pounds. You could have both, and you could have power on the road forever. Well, until you've used it over 500 times and then the battery might start to weaken and you might need to get another one. But that's years down the line, don't worry about it. Many years. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. I think the quality of this is the best I've seen in any of these power bank stations. You could tell, as soon as it arrived, I can't show you the box because he's sitting on it at the moment. As soon as it arrived and we opened it, all the others power stations we've had and looked at they all come in plain cardboard um, very little details they have been Chinese this one the quality the printing on everything it's just sturdy solid American really good stuff so would seriously advise anybody to get out and get one of these I know we do reviews and you, you, people think, well, they're going to say it's good anyway. That's what they're there for. They've got to do a good review. No, we don't. If something's rubbish, we say it's rubbish. We've always been honest with reviews. And this is the best thing. The best power station for a 500 watt um, that I've seen on the market so far. So, hope that helps. All the links, the discount code, everything is in the description. It's only just available in Europe today starting today forever forever um but for your 20 percent discount you have to order this by the end of the month end of march 2021 get them ordered thank you to jackery for sending us this thank you for giving us a chance to review it and uh, thank you guys for watching catch you all on the next one have a good night bye bye